Hi, in this video we will see how to auto compare the display number of row count to the actual number of row count of a web data table. Let us consider this example of data table. We can see the display number of row count for the table is 57 here in the bottom. We will compare this 57 value by calculating the actual number of rows from the same web table. So calculating actual number of rows from the web table can be done in multiple ways. One way is to traverse to the data table using this pagination buttons and storing the total count in a variable. The other way is to make use of jQuery functions. So for this demonstration, we will go with the second one, which is making use of jQuery functions to find the actual row count of the web table. So let us see uh, how we can auto compare this display row count to the actual row count in Selenium script. So I have uh, already written the Java program. Uh, we will just walk through this code. Declare the driver as a class variable and within the within the main method give the path for the chrome driver then uh, create the object for the chrome driver then navigating to the site where the data table is available then maximize the driver so i have separated the comparison logic in another method so let us see how the code works in this method so we take two variables one is for calculating the actual row count and another variable is for extracting the displayed row count so the first set of code which is this one will calculate the actual number of rows by making use of jquery functions so let's take the javascript executor object and pass this driver into this so using this jquery function uh, it starts from here we can find the length of the data table so this is the id of the data table and we are applying these many functions to convert the data table as an array and finally we are finding the length of the array which is nothing but our data table so whenever we uh, take java or javascript or jquery in java or or in the jquery itself it always returns an object value so we cannot directly store object value in in integer variable so convert this object variable as int using this number class and int methods so this will display or i would say this will calculate the actual number of rows from the web table and now the second set of code which i have written here it will extract the displayed count from the web element the web the web element is this one here in this case showing 1 to 10 of 57 ent entries this is the old web element and we are just extracting this 57 value by applying split function so the 57 value is available after fifth space so using this split with the space function with the sp space we are extracting the value of the 57 after the fifth space so when we take the web element basically they are of string types so we need to convert uh, this string type again into an integer value which is uh, displayed count of rows on page here so we we can use integer class with parse int to convert the integer variable uh, convert the string variable into integer so now we have the two values calculated one is uh, uh, calculated value of the uh, data table and another is the web element extracted value we we have these two values in integer now we just need to compare these two values using if statement if data table actual row count is equals to the display row count of rows on the page 
it returns zero value and if 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 the value of zero is equals to zero then we are displaying the displayed count on the page is equals to the actual row count of the table so this way we can compare the displayed number of row count uh, with the actual number of row count that is calculated so let us see uh, how the results uh, we get for this logic so right click on the application run as java application so the driver is initiated in the background and you can see the results will come in a second so it has performed all the calculation in the background if we go back to the console we can see uh, what it does so we can see the the calculated value of the actual row count is 57 here and the extracted which is which is nothing but the displayed row count value on the web page is 57 so these two values are equal now so we can say the displayed row count on the web page is equals to the calculated row count of the data table so this is how we can uh, we can compare we can compare the extracted value uh, from the web page and calculated value of the row count from the web table so i hope you find this uh, uh, video is useful